Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am sharing with you my very first experience of applying cassia treatment to my hair. Cassia is also known as neutral henna. Cassia strengthens conditions and adds shine to your hair and also protects the hair from damage. So that's why I wanted to use it alongside the conditioning effect where it also stretches out and lengthens your curls. So whilst editing this video, I realized that it had a little bit of some ASMR going on. So I decided to just let you guys enjoy that if you're into that sort of thing. But to begin with, I scooped out seven tablespoons of the cassia powder. And then followed up with my amla powder, which as you can see is on its last leg so I just used the whole thing but I think that was probably a tablespoon of amla powder. I'll also put the link below of where I get all my Ayurveda herbs. So now going in with the Moringa powder and then mix it all together and then I added hot water to mix it all together into a fine, smooth mixture. So as you can see, it's still quite lumpy. Um, I don't know why it's lumpy. I might add a little bit of water. And when I watched Henna Sug's video, she said to let it sit and the, the lumps will melt away. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. It's still quite thick, more than I'd like it. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water and then leave it to sit and see if these lumps will melt a little bit more. So this is the consistency before I let it sit. So I think I prefer this. I think this is going to be quite hard to wash out because I had I just washed a little stain off my hand. It sort of has the texture of like mud. <laughs> so it's going to be quite interesting. I think Henna Sug said to, to wash it out with um, the cold wash. But I'll just go in with a conditioner. But yeah, I'm just going to let this sit and then we shall see. So I've left this for about 15 minutes and this is what it's looking like so it looks a bit smooth but it's still got the lumps so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it to my hair and hope for the best I hope those lumps don't stick to my hair too much I'm just about to apply the mixture I 
had already washed my hair this morning and um, it's now half 12 in the morning <laughs> so yeah excuse me looking so dry but this is the result of me washing my hair um, and not using a conditioner or anything after the curls have like clumped together so there's like a little bit of clumping going on which is quite good so I used the ORS um, shampoo I'll have to show you it's a clarifying shampoo and I absolutely love it so what I've done is I have just rehydrated my hair with water in these sections so I'm just gonna quickly do it for this section too don't you just love this spray bottle if you don't have it what are you doing it's sort of just like keeps spraying even after you've stopped um i got it from a partnership that i did with tangle pizza and then i got another one from my treasure tress box if you don't know what treasure tress is it is um a, nat a natural hair care subscription box um where you pay 20 pounds a month and you get different products sent to you every month to try so if you're into trying lots of different things then treasure tress is for you it's really good it's a really good way to like discover new products that are, that are coming to the market as well because they put on like um basically like new brands so that's good so basically this is just what i do i'm just wetting it just to make it more pliable for when i come to apply the mixture so i'll just go ahead and quickly show you the mixture i don't know why i'm looking so pale Gosh, i know i'm pregnant but still so i'm actually gonna start at the back because it's had the um the water in it for a bit so I'm gonna start there and I'm gonna let this sit for an hour so I'm really not gonna get any any sleep I've got a wedding tomorrow as well so it's really not ideal but what can you do I'm always lastminute.com <laughs> And I have to also make sure that I do not get any on our walls because my husband will be so mad. <laughs> We've only just repainted, so... And we painted white. That was my idea. It was... Is it Magnolia? It was like Magnolia before. So, um, I need to make sure that I do not get any on the walls. already like stretching out my hair I love it I can't wait to see what my hair looks like oh look at that trying not to get it on my scalp just in case I'm not able to wash it out <laughs> because I don't want any trouble
I'm gonna go off camera and finish it off and then come show you the rest. I love the hang time. Let me show you my hair. Okay, let me take this out. So look at the difference. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> I really cannot wait to wash it out and see what it's looking like. So this is it all done, um, usually once I have um, applied the mixture, <clears throat> excuse me, I would just quickly twist it up just so it doesn't dry out, um, but because I want to see the length and I want you guys to see the texture as well, I did leave it out so it has dried a little bit, so it might be a bit harder to wash out, but here it is. So I am going to damp my hair a little bit because as you can see it's dried out <laughs> and I don't want it to be too difficult to wash out so I'm just going to spray it with some water before I cover it with the plastic um, bag and I'm going to leave it in my hair for one hour and then rinse it out. So here's the rest of the mixture, um, there's enough for next time, I'm just going to mix it with my um, conditioner to make a little gloss, so yeah, that was a whole lot, so I made way too much, so I've used half essentially, and I also got went and twisted my hair and I'm just going to put it um, in a plastic bag for an hour and then I'll come and show you guys um, and also this is my belly growing slowly <laughs> oh so it's now 3 a.m. and I've just had a shower and rinsed out the treatment out of my hair and these are the results I'm just gonna undo them so you can see it feels really soft, very, very soft. Very soft and fluffy. Okay, let's see the back because that has a different texture. So the back has a little bit of like looser curls. Yeah, my hair feels really soft. Very moisturized and stretched. That's the final result. And I am going to have to style it off camera and then come show you guys because I have a wedding tomorrow, it's 3 a.m. I had planned to wake up at five because I need to get my son ready and I need to be ready for half eight. So I'm gonna do my hair and then sleep. Hopefully wake up at six, fingers crossed. And then hopefully make it on time for my pickup for this wedding because it's in another city. So yeah, I'm just going to put these back in twist. So the style that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do a high bun because that's the quickest thing I can do to look put together and like as you can see my hair stretches out very easily so that's nice um, so yeah I also plan to just use um, the Uncle Funky's um, Uncle Funky's daughter curl curly magic um i really like it i'm just gonna use that and some oil and see how and see how that goes i'm not trying to do any layering 
because I feel like that's going to be way too long I'm looking for like a quick thing and then I will go in and save it on another day <laughs> but yeah for now I want something quick and simple to make me look like I made an effort when I really didn't <laughs> so yeah I will have to come back and show you guys the results So I styled my hair off camera but I just wanted to come back and show you what I did so here I'm just taking out all the bobby pins. So as you can see I put my hair into pigtails and then each pigtail I did two chunky twists. So then I ended up with four twists in total. So that's what you're about to see right now. So I'm just lightly finger detangling just to stretch out my hair a bit more. Because I want my bun to be huge and if that's going to happen my hair has to be freed. I, I, I don't want it to be clumped together because that's not going to give me the fluffy look that I want so this is how I get the fluffy look by just lightly finger detangling my hair I could comb it out as well but I'd rather just do this because it's less breakage so just lightly finger detangle and then twist it up And then I'll repeat this on the other side of my hair. Okay, so it's all done now. So what I'm going to do is just pin each twist to the other side of my hair and I basically just just trial and error just put it anywhere and if it looks good pin it there and that's basically what this style is I try not to use bobby pins as much as possible because they have broken my hair in the past I'll put a video here to see what they did to my hair but with certain styles, I really have no choice but to use them. And this is one of them. This is my hair and just a quick style for wash day when you don't have time to do anything too fancy with your hair. Let me know whether you have done a Cassia treatment before, what your results were and what treatments shall I do next because I'm really having fun with my Ayurveda herbs and thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!